as rescue operations continue in Huruma, there are growing fears that the death toll is set to rise with a possible recovery of more bodies buried under the rubble. Let's bring in our reporter, Murimi Mwangi, who has followed these developments very closely. Murimi, good evening. Uh, how's the rescue mission looking in Huruma? Good evening, Smart. Now, uh, 22 people have so far been confirmed dead and 96 others are still missing. But as the rescue operations continue, the tragedy on the ground is that there are two areas of the collapsed uh, building that are still inaccessible to the heavy rescue equipment, one uh, bordering the river and the other one just behind uh, the building. And therefore, uh, much as the rescue operation is ongoing, the fear for the residents of Huruma is that a majority of those are still trapped inside the building might be in these two sections that have not yet been uh, accessed. But this, of course, happens on the same day that uh, various professional bodies that are tasked to check on the standards of the construction work have each uh, shifted blame and nobody wants to take responsibility for the collapsed building at Huruma. And here is a report that I prepared for you earlier today. Day four of the rescue operation at Huruma. 22 people have already been confirmed dead. 96 others still missing. It is feared a majority of them may still be trapped inside this rubble. We are still hopeful of finding uh, more uh, alive. So we, we are very cautious as we move from uh, uh, step by step. So uh, we'll ask you to bear with us. We are doing our best. We have 96 cases which have not yet been closed. Um, and as when I talk about the closed cases are that we've been able to establish that either uh, some of them have passed on in the incident or some have been traced. But even as the machines are drilling, lifting and turning here, at the opposite end of the collapsed building, the debris is untouched. Residents here fear that a majority of the missing persons may be trapped here. Now those leading the rescue efforts say that the area is inaccessible, perhaps an indicator that some families might have to wait longer before they can know the fate of their loved ones. It is even worse on the edge of the rubble bordering the river, which is totally inaccessible. The few volunteers that attempt to make their way here have to brave the currents of the flooded river as others put their own lives at risk venturing inside the debris without proper protective gear. The tools for, 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 for lifting, for heavy lifting equipment, cannot access that, that, that point. Even where to put debris. Paisa alikuja, akasema, nyumba sibomolewa, lakini ye ya kutuambia penye tunaenda. Nechitokeza kama vile miniko na mwana miniko individual, assistant. Up until now, only two of the unsafe buildings located next to the ill-fated one have been successively evacuated. The landlady of one of the hazardous buildings unsuccessfully attempted to dodge our cameras. the county government. Meanwhile, at the public works headquarters, the blame game continued over the Huruma tragedy. Engineers and architects are blaming quirks who have invaded their industry, while the Office of the Buildings Inspectorate and the National Construction Authority pointed fingers at private developers who rushed to court to block demolition of unsafe buildings. Responsibility can only be established after we've done the right investigation. We must look at the, the developer, we must look at uh, the people who are concerned in building, the contractors, we must look at the level of materials, the quality standards. The owner of the collapsed Huruma building has already been arrested, while the engineer and architect who oversaw the construction work are still at large. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, in Nairobi.
Oh, the rescue operation goes in today, five tomorrow. Uh, but of course, the questions that Kenyans out there are asking, uh, where, where, where is the whereabouts of the engineer and the architect who oversaw the construction work of that building at Huruma? And how many more buildings in the city are uh, at such a state and nobody is providing the answers? Back to you in studio. Thank you very much, Muremi Mwangi.